Good morning, everyone. It's the Reverend Jen D. Burwell. It is Friday morning, the 1st of October. And in morning prayer this morning, um, Psalm 55 was the psalm. And, and I thought it was, well, I thought it was worth recording and sharing with you all. So we pray our psalms. They are prayers. And this is a a psalm by David. We often would sing them, but I'm not going to sing it. Um, this is the CE version, the CEV version, um, and I just want to share this with you this morning. Listen, God, to my prayer. Don't reject my request. Please listen and help me. My thoughts are troubled and I keep groaning because my loud enemies shout and attack. They treat me terribly and hold angry grudges. My heart is racing fast and I am afraid of dying. I am trembling with fear, completely terrified. I wish I had wings like a dove so I could fly far away and be at peace. I would go and live in some distant desert. I would quickly find shelter from howling winds and raging storms. Confuse my enemies, Lord. Upset their plans. Cruelty and violence are all I see in the city. And they are like guards on patrol day and night. The city is full of trouble, evil and corruption. Troublemakers and liars freely roam the streets. My enemies are not the ones who sneer and make fun. I could put up with that or even hide from them. But it was my closest friend the one I trusted most. We enjoyed being together and we went with others to your house, our God. All who hate me are controlled by the power of evil. Sentence them to death and send them down alive to the world of the dead. I ask for your help, Lord God, and you will keep me safe. Morning, Noon and night, you hear my concerns and my complaints. I am attacked from all sides, but you will rescue me unharmed by the battle. You have always ruled and you will hear me. You will defeat my enemies because they won't turn and worship you. My friend turned against me and broke his promise. His words were smoother than butter and softer than olive oil. But hatred filled his heart and he was ready to attack with a sword. Our Lord, we belong to you. We tell you what worries us and you won't let us fall. But what about those people who are cruel and brutal? You will throw them down into the deepest pit long before their time. I trust you, Lord. There is a very heartfelt prayer by David. Before the day of Jesus, before the day of the new covenant, which changed um, a whole lot and took people by surprise, this um, idea of radical love for your enemy and forgiveness and reconciliation, which is not a new concept. It was there in the Old Testament too. But today I take the psalm to mean we get to be honest with God. We get to pray morning, noon and night in honesty about what we're feeling, what we're seeing, what we're experiencing. 
and then we get to end that in in trust in trust that that God of some sense of understanding as to what that might mean will take care of it all and it will be okay so that's just my thoughts this morning feel welcome to pour everything out to God to the divine to to the God of everything to the to the God who loves you so much anyhow have a super wonderful Wednesday the 1st of October 2021 and every day God bless. Bye-bye.